Dennis, in fact, back to third, Berger in fourth, and a lazy one minute, 19.331, 0.079, slower than Michael Schumacher. Well, he got very sideways on the exit of the Estoril corner there, and that is the fastest corner, most exciting corner on this circuit. That the thing stepped out, and a lazy, like everybody, aware that you've got to get your good laps in. Oh, look at a lazy, absolutely on the limit. Well, that's just confirming, A, how good a lazy has been consistently in these conditions, but really how good the Ferrari chassis is. Now, he got the back of the car almost on the lock stop this time. He's 12. That is exuberant. Superb form. And is he going to be able to take his second pole of his career? Well, we've got five, just, uh, just over five minutes remaining in this session. And uh, Alesi has only got this final lap now in which to try it again. So he did the only thing any man could do, that is drive across the grass. Oh, and let's look at the Alesi. And even knowing whereabouts in the track, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't be able to see the entry into the corner. He would have to do. Oh, when a lazy, you know, he gets away with murders at times. But someday. So watch a lazy plunge down it. Oh, lazy in all sorts of trouble. So he's still on a fast lap. Let's just take another look. You can just see he clipped that white line, and look how close he got to that concrete wall. No way was he ever going to make the corner without him being there in the first place. But you know, drivers have always got a different version of the same story. Oh, look at a lazy, isn't that fun? Really, this is a driver that should have been racing probably way back in the 1950s when racing cars were very basic and crude. They're really all about an engine. The very sophisticated cars of the 90s, you know, the passion involved is of a different level. And this is a man who has got passion by the brimful. Just watch John Lacey in fine form. Look at him sliding that Ferrari, controlling it on the steering and the throttle. 